Okay. All right. So welcome everyone to Adaptive Chair Yoga class today. We have Adaptive Adventures. My name is Shauna, and we are here to practice a little bit of chair. So we're going to start so simply today. It's like the easiest thing ever, and I just think it feels really great to try this. So we often do cat-cow, and cow is a little back bend, and cat is a little rounded back. And this is part of this, but it's even simpler. So take your arms and just let them drape along your sides, no energy at all. On an inhale, just look up a little bit, just a reminder to lengthen through your spine and lift up. When you exhale, bring your chin to your collarbone, and then just begin to roll your spine forward just a little bit, like not even a lot, just enough that you feel a little stretch across your shoulders. Maybe you're looking down at your knees. Hang here for a moment. We usually go the whole way down, and now it's like, no, just a little rounding. And then when you're ready to inhale next time, look out on the floor in front of you, and that'll help you flatten your back, and then use that next inhale to come up with a flat back. So it's just this little tiny curl forward and then flat back up, but it really feels great on the spine. Let's do that a few times. So inhale, drop the chin and just a little round, like you're leaning forward. And then look out on the floor in front of you, firm your belly, and inhale with a flat back up. So it's a small movement, which means it can feel very comfortable. So inhaling, Drop the chin, round the shoulders, let the arms come forward. A little bit of rounding. And then looking forward across the floor, draw the shoulders back and flat back and come up. And we'll do that just one more time. So, so simple, it's almost like we're not doing anything, but it's really great for the spine. So just a little rounding in the shoulders like we're slouching. Look forward. And then use that inhale to bring the back back up. All right, so that will take us into what I like to call swimmers. So we'll do a little thing for the shoulders here. So bring your arms down by your sides. And when you inhale, have your palms facing forward. And when you exhale, turn your palms back and even rotate them a little bit more away from you if you can. So inhale, palms come forward. Shoulders are soft, and exhale, palms push back a little. And so just focus on the rotation of your upper arm in the shoulder as you rotate forward and back. Just little movements here of the upper arm, coordinating it with your breath. So begin to slow down and deepen your breath. When you inhale, feel the chest expand and lift a little as you turn your palms forward, and then firming the belly as you turn the palms back and push a little bit into space. Let's do that one more time. Inhaling, feeling your shoulder blades coming towards each other as the chest broadens, and exhaling, feeling a little bit more space between the shoulder blades, and then release. All right. So maybe feeling a little activation of the core muscles, a little bit of warmth in the shoulders. So now we'll do that little sequence called swimmers. So we start with our palms facing back. When you inhale, just float the hands forward and up. And now with the exhale, you'll come forward into a 45 degree angle and let your arms float back the way as you thumbs towards each other if you can. All right, like we're gonna Jump off a high dive. Now keep your back where it is, but reach your arms forward. So it feels like you're going to jump up out of your seat now. Then exhale, come back to vertical. Turn your palms forward. And on an inhale, take your arms way out to the sides now and up. And then exhale your hands to your heart. Let's do that a few more times. So palms are back. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. Look up. The exhale, firm the belly as you lean forward and let the arms swing back. Draw the thumbs towards each other. So a little squeeze of the upper back. 
All right, keep the back where it is, but now reach forward with the arm. So spine is getting longer, the tailbone is stretching back. Now exhale, you come up to vertical, turn your palms out, and with the inhale, sweep way out to the sides and up, which is a little different than when we come to the front, and then exhale your hand to your heart. Let's try that one more time. So palms are back. On an inhale, arms float forward and up. So part of the, now exhale, lean forward, arms come back and shoulder blades squeeze. Then inhale and reach the arms forward. Exhale, push the air back as you sit up. And then palms out. Inhale, out to the sides and up. And hands to the middle. And down. So part of the sequencing like that is that every movement more or less is tied to a breath. If you ever need to take an extra breath, of course you do, but eventually movement and breath become tied together. And that's part of the reason that our nervous system can get very calm when we're doing this. So I'm gonna do a few things with our hands. So I'm gonna make sure that our hands are stretched out really well or opened up. So I'll come a little closer. And this is a recent hand stretch that I learned, and it's from using the keyboard a lot. It's a nice way of opening up the hands. So we'll start with the right hand. So take the right hand with the palm up. Now bring your left hand, and like a tube, wrap it around your thumb, okay? All right, now very gently pull that thumb down just as far as feels comfortable, giving your hand a little stretch. All right. Now the left hand is going to wrap around the index finger, okay? And same thing, we're going to pull that index finger down as far as feels comfortable. Some people can really pull their fingers apart a lot, others not so much. Now while you're holding, can I come forward here? Good, there. While you're holding the index finger down, bring your thumb and middle finger to touch. Can you see that? Like you're doing a little okay sign. So thumb and middle finger touch. Then release it, thumb and ring finger touch. And then release it, and thumb and little finger touch. And then release it. You see I'm holding the index finger, now I'm gonna release it. And now the left hand is gonna come around the middle finger. And then I'm gonna gently pull the middle finger down. And give that a moment, think of your the fascia in your hands kind of like taffy, giving it a moment to warm up. Okay, so now thumb and index finger coming together like an okay sign while you're keeping that middle finger stretched. Then thumb and ring finger together. And then thumb and pinky. And then release. And so now maybe you understand the pattern a little better. So now the left hand will come around the ring finger and pull that down. And now thumb, right thumb to right index finger. And release. Right thumb to middle finger. And release. And then right thumb to pinky. Ooh, this is a hard one. Ah! <laughs> and then release. And then let go of the fourth finger. And so now the last one will be left hand wraps around the little finger. And then we gently pull that down. And the first time I did these, it was hard. And I've been doing it since I learned it. And it gets a little easier. So now thumb to index finger. Let go. Thumb to middle finger. And then release. And then thumb to ring finger and release. Okay, so take that right hand and shake it like it's a little wash rag. And then bring it down by your side and make a soft fist with it. And now circle your wrist in one direction. Try and keep the arm close to the side and just circle the wrist. And then other direction. And then let your right hand sit on your lap and maybe take just one breath into the palm of your right hand. Imagine you can breathe there 
and see what the right hand feels like compared to the left. All right, now let's try the other side. So we'll start with the left hand, okay? And so now the right hand is going to come around and hold that thumb, all right? So we're holding that thumb kind of like a sausage, like a roll around a sausage, and then just to any degree, pull that thumb down, give it a little stretch across the, the palm of the hand. All right, and now we'll move to the index finger, right? So now the right hand comes around the index finger and we pull it down. And you might feel the stretch through your forearms, your wrist, maybe even your shoulder, just see where you feel it. And now we'll do the fingers. So now left thumb is going to touch the middle finger of the left hand. So you're making that little okay sign, sort of. Release that thumb to the tip of the ring finger. Release that, and then thumb to the tip of the pinky. And release. Okay. Right hand is now going to encircle the middle finger. And then draw it down. You can do it maybe underhand or overhand, whatever works better for you. All right. So we've got that middle finger being stretched, and you can really feel it through the center of your palm. All right. Left thumb to left index finger. And then release. Thumb to ring finger. And then release. Thumb to pinky. And release. All right, almost there. Right hand encircles ring finger of left hand. Thumb to index finger. And release. Thumb to middle finger. And release. And here's the hard one, really hard one. Thumb to pinky. And release. And now we'll do the last finger. So little finger, we're going to pull that little finger down if we can. Just weight it down a little bit to stretch across the palm of the hand. And then thumb to index finger. Thumb to middle finger. Thumb to ring finger. And down. And then release. All right, we'll shake out that left hand now. And then bring the hand down by our sides and draw a couple circles with that fist, just opening up the wrist a little, and then a couple times in the other direction. And then release. All right, so this was to help us interlace our hands for the next part of what we're going to do. So see how this feels. All right, so. Let's try interlacing the fingers. And you can keep your palms together or you can turn them away from you, whatever you prefer, whatever feels better for you. Now on an inhale, we're gonna swoop the arms forward and up over our head, very gently look up. So feeling a little bit of a back bend. When you exhale, round your upper back, bring your arms shoulder height and drop your chin. So now we're rounding. So here's this cat-cow variation again. So let's try that a few times. Inhale, sweep the arms up, maybe even look behind you a little bit. And then exhale, round the back, push away, like you're pushing something away, pulling your belly in. So we're taking our spine through two different conversations. So. Inhale, lifting up, looking back, that's a little back bend, reaching up and elongating. And then the next time you exhale, smoothly pushing away, dropping the head and rounding the back. And then release your hands and we'll come back. Yeah. All right. Let me do one little adjustment here on the <coughs> thing. There we go. All right. <coughs> Sorry, just a little adjustment there. Okay. 
So now, this is a little five-part well, breath sequence. We'll do it a couple times. And uh, we've done it before, but we need to use the hands interlaced. If the hands don't interlace, you can always hold one wrist and the other, something like that. So adapt as feels right for you. So we'll bring our arms by our sides, okay? And let's inhale the arms up. And then on the exhale, while the hands are up, interlace them and turn the palms up. That's one version. Or hold on to any place that feels right. Just want to get a little bit of an anchor up there, okay? The next time you inhale, take the arms back a little bit and or look up. So maybe you're just looking up. But feel the ribs lift up. Now take another inhale here, but hold your breath at the top. So inhaling in and then holding it as you drop your chin to your collarbone. So the arms are still up, but now the head is down. And after a pause, when it's time for you to exhale, release the hands and float them down. And then just pause for a little minute. This breath has a real effect on your nervous system. It really calms you down, or it's supposed to. If it isn't, you can let me know. We can adapt it. But let's try that a couple times with modifications as you need. So hands by your sides. Inhale, widen up. Grow tall, lift up, and look up. And then on the exhale, arrange your hands so you're reaching up. And then the next inhale, take the arms back and look up. So you're leaning back into a little back bend. And when you're ready, hold the breath after an inhale. Drop your chin down. Maybe draw the hands a little further back. And then use your exhale to lower the arms. Let's try that one more time. Inhale the arms, rake them through the air, lift up, look up, and on the exhale, taking the hands in any configuration that helps you keep them up there. The next inhale takes you, look up, and take the arms maybe back, arch the spine. Now hold your breath, drop the chin, feel the back of the neck long, and then Exhale as the arms come down the sides. And then pause. All right. So we've worked forward and back in the spine and gotten our breath a little deeper. Let's work side to side with the spine now. So a couple versions here with what feels right for your arms. We're going to be doing lateral flexion, which is going side to side. So you don't have to use any arms if you don't want to. You could just lean side to side. You can bring your hands on your shoulders and take it side to side like that. You could take your hands on your shoulders this way. And then if you'd like to use your arms, the next time we go to the right, leave your left hand here and take your right arm maybe to the back of the head, maybe above the head, or maybe the arm stretches. So now you have to use your core to keep you balanced here. We'll take an extra breath here and reach out a little bit more with the spine especially. And then the next time you inhale, bring yourself back. So the arms can be on the sides, they can be anywhere. I'll demo with them here. I think that feels like a good middle ground. So let's inhale, we'll lift up and firm the belly. And we'll exhale to the left, so now the right arm lift up to any degree and come over and again yeah we got it take an extra inhale here exhale pull that belly in and then inhale back to center now let's try that again on each side and then we'll do it a little differently so when you're ready inhale firm the belly and take it over Let the right ear drape towards the right shoulder. Let the left side of your neck be relaxed if you can. Take away any tension other than the strength it takes to keep yourself upright. And then use your inhale to come on back. You can feel the difference these little movements can make in how you feel. And then when you're ready, we'll inhale up. 
and then we'll take it over to the left. And then inhale, bring yourself back up and relax your arms down. All right, let's free those arms up a little bit and we'll do uh, the little shoulder squeeze that sometimes I like to do. So let's inhale the arms, the palms can be facing each other. Inhale the arms, any amount up. And then exhale, let them swing back and squeeze your shoulder blades intentionally together. Let's do that two more times just to make sure the circulation is in our shoulders. So we'll inhale up and then exhale the arms back. Squeeze the shoulders, so you're rolling the shoulders open. And last time, inhale it up. And exhale and squeeze. And release. All right, now let's try a little different version of going side to side. And let's see how this feels. So I'm going to interlace hands at the back of head. But the hands can be on the shoulders or on the shoulders this way, or any way that feels right for you. And we'll be comfortable in this one, okay? All right. So wherever we are, when we inhale, we're gonna lift the spine up and firm the belly to make sure we're tall. And then when you exhale, let's lean over to the right to any degree. Now, instead of going back to center, we're gonna look down at the floor and swoop forward so we're over the knees looking straight down, okay? So it's forward. And then with an inhale, let's swing over to the left gently, take it slow, and then tip up so we're facing forward, and then come back to center. Okay, so it's a little more demanding on the core to do it this way, so let's see how it feels. So over to the right, pause, and then begin to pivot as you move forward and then looking straight down when you come to center. Then drifting over to the left, pivoting so you're facing forward, and then inhale, come back to center. Let's try it one more time in this direction and then we'll reverse it. So exhale to the right, pull the belly muscles in so they're strong, and then tip and glide forward. So you're using your core and you're pressing the back of the head into your hands a little bit. And then exhale over to the left. Tip the face forward and come up to center. And apologies, I didn't think to mute my phone. My phone only rings when I'm teaching and it's only spam. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So just notice how you feel from doing that. You might feel a little activation of the spine around the rib cage here. Maybe the shoulders can feel a little bit more relaxed down the back. And now we'll try it in the opposite direction. So again, hands wherever it's comfortable for you. I'll demo at the back of the head. On an exhale, inhale and get tall. And then on the exhale, this time we'll go to the left. Good. Now tip and look down as you glide forward to center. Pull the belly in here. Make sure the spine is long and the neck is an extension of the spine. Inhale over to the right to any degree. It doesn't have to be big. Tip it so you're looking forward. And then bring yourself to center. Let's keep going. Exhale to the left. Turn and pivot. And then glide around to the center. Pause here, firm the belly. Inhale over to the right. And then pivot so you're looking forward. And then use, it's like your left armpit is pulling you up. And one more time. Take it to the left. Pivot. Come over to the center. Pause. Take it to the right, tip forward, and then inhale back to center, and release your hands. Okay. 
So now, as always, I want to do a little core work. I'm going to move my chair back. It's a, uh, Check my camera here just a moment. Oh, all these little technical adjustments. Okay. So I'd like to do a little core work here. And so to do that, the legs can stay as they are, or you can take them out in front of you a little bit. You want to sit at the edge of wherever you are because we'll be leaning back. So you want to have room to lean back. So we'll start with really simple core work, and then we'll continue it, and there's an option to move the legs with it or not, all right? So come and find your I Dream of Genie arms, or some version of that. And if that's not comfortable, hands on the shoulders works just as fine. I might actually like that a little bit better. We'll see. All right, so arms here, be tall, and as you inhale, lean back. As far as you can with your back still straight, back of the neck is long, feeling your abs turn on. And then take an inhale here and use your exhale to bring yourself forward. So your exhale is like a little engine that pushes you forward. So let's inhale back, pause for just a moment, and then exhale, bring yourself forward. And we'll try that just a few times. So just these little movements is enough, inhaling back, to strengthen your core. And exhale forward. Let's do two more like this. So inhale back, keeping the spine long and strong. Exhale forward, pull that belly in as you come forward. So navel moves back, the torso moves forward. Last time like this, take it back. And then inhale it forward. And let's give the arms just a little moment, a little break here. Can release the head, the shoulders, the arms, anything like that where you feel any tension. All right. So now the arms can be like this or like this again. We're going to lean back with the option to lift alternate knees that's available or maybe coming up on the toes or lifting the heels or not using the legs at all. It's either way, we'll still get that core work here, all right? So we'll take an in it. now we'll move on exhales. So we'll take an inhale and get tall. Exhale and lean back and maybe pick up the right knee or just activate the right knee or even imagine picking up the right knee. Taking an inhale back here and then exhaling forward. Inhale in place. And then exhale, firm the belly, lean back, and option to lift up the left knee to any degree. Pausing, taking inhale here, because we're moving on exhales now, because it's a little more demanding. So exhale and come forward. Let's try a few more like this. So inhale. And exhale, lean back. Maybe the right knee comes up. And then exhale, bring it forward. And you're ready. And last time like this, inhale in place. Exhale, lean back, lift up the left knee. Inhale in place. And then exhale, bring it forward. And let's relax the arms again a little bit. And now we'll try it adding a twist. So let me show you before we do it. So I'm going to put my hands like this this time. So rather than lean back, when the inhale comes, if you are able and want to pick up the right knee, but then when we exhale, now we'll twist. So if we're not using the legs, it's just an inhale and an exhale with a twist. If you're incorporating the legs, then the knee or the heel picks up, and then we twist against that leg. Okay, so it'll give us two options there. And if you prefer to just lean back and then twist, that's another option too. All right. So when you are ready, inhale, sit up tall, and option to lift up that right knee or activate the right leg in any way. When you exhale, pull the belly in and twist to the right. 
Bring yourself back to center. Release. Now we'll stay on the right side for three more times. So we really want to activate that side. So inhale, lift up. And exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back and release. Third time. Sit up tall. Inhale, float the knee up. And exhale, pull the belly in as you twist. So look to the right. And then inhale back and down. Exhale. And last time like this. Sit up tall. Inhale. Lift the right limb, twist to the right on the exhale, hold it for a little bit more. You can breathe here as you need to. And then the next time you inhale, bring it back and down. Release your arms for a moment. You might feel, I feel very warm. <laughs> Just these little movements can create a lot of resistance in the body and building strength. Now before we do the other side, let's just do a little variation here. So let's take our arms out to it, into a T, or any version that feel, if your shoulders are aching, you can be down, but if you're able to be shoulder height, there we go. Take an inhale, get tall, and now exhale and just lean over to the right, like you're reaching for something over there. So feel that right side body long and the left side, the left shoulder and the hips are coming closer together. And then come back to center. Take an inhale here. And let's exhale and reach to the left. And then bring it back to center. All right, let's do it again. And this time involve our head. So let's inhale and get tall. Exhale and reach for the right. But then look to the left. So get that little bit of extra range of motion in the neck, and then bring yourself back to center. Inhale and get tall like you're pushing that air down. And then when you exhale, lean to the left, look to the right. And then inhale back to center. We'll do one more version. If your arms can hold, hang on. So inhale, get tall. And when you exhale, we're going to reach for the right and look to the right this time. See if you can drop your shoulders down, lift the chest up, and reach. And then inhale back to center. Right. And now, obviously, we will exhale, look to the left, and reach to the left. Drop those shoulders down. Open up the chest and reach. And then inhale. Bring it back and ooh, relax those arms. Let's do a few shoulder rolls just to work out some of the fatigue from having the arms up like that. Just a few nice smooth shoulder circles back. Maybe make them as big as you can and you can even turn the back of your hands in when you come forward and then the palms out when you go back. So you'll get a full rotation of the shoulder. If you do it like that, then you'll want to keep the elbows a little bit. Okay. So now we'll do the twist to the left. We have just enough time to do that. So again, options are hands on the shoulders. Inhale, exhale into the twist. Inhale, pick up the left knee and exhale into the twist. Or inhale, lean back and twist. It's a little harder on the back that way. So I'll demo with the spine vertical. So when you're ready, we will inhale lifting up and maybe lift up the left knee or activate a sense of the left side of the body. When you exhale, pull the navel in and turn to the left. Inhale back to center and release. We'll do four more of these. So inhale up and exhale and twist. Long exhale, let it leak out. And then inhale back to the center and release. Inhale and lift spine and or leg. Exhale, pull the belly in. You can exhale through the mouth if that makes it more comfortable, like a, almost like you're letting the air out of the bicycle tire. And then bring it up and back. 
and just two more now. Inhale up and exhale to the left. Notice where your eyes go. You might twist a little further each time, maybe. Bring yourself back to center and down. And then last time, inhale up and exhale to the left. And then bring yourself back and down. Okay. Now we had the arms wide before, so let's try that one more time. And if you're able, take the legs a little further apart so we have some room here. And we'll bring our arms out into a T, as we did before. Open up the chest as you inhale. And when you exhale, bring your right arm inside the right thigh or the knee or wherever. And then when you exhale, maybe glide down to any degree towards the foot or ankle. And the left arm goes up. It's almost like your hands of a clock at six and 12. And if it feels okay in your neck, maybe try looking up. Lengthen a little bit here. And then use your core to bring yourself back up. Good. Now we'll inhale in place. And now the left hand will come inside the left thigh. We'll exhale and slide down to any degree. And then we can lean in against that leg a little bit. Reach up with the right hand and turn and look up. And then inhale and come back to center. Now let's do this again, but I'll modify it a little bit. So if our arms are here, we can put the right arm on the forearm. And lean over to the right, lift the left arm up, then look up. And then when you exhale, we'll come back to center, and then we'll put the left forearm on the left thigh, and inhale the right arm up, and look up if that feels comfortable. And then bring that back, and then come on up. And now we'll finish with just a little tiny upper arm thing. So let's bend our elbows and have our palms facing us. Okay? It's like we're holding something. Now inhale and bring your arms out to the side. And exhale and bring them back towards each other to any degree. We'll try this just another time. So bring it out. Really broaden the chest, let the elbows and the hands go back maybe more than they typically would. Keep the ribs tucked in. Bring it back towards the center one more time. And now we'll take it out to the sides again. So we're out here. Now turn your palms forward. And then imagine there's a wall right there and we're gonna very slowly slide our hands up the wall. So just taking the hands straight up like we're leaning against the wall. And then exhale, bring it out to those cactus arms again. And then let's slide up the wall again. You can look up this time. And then exhale the hands into that cactus again. And then the last time, slide the hands up, look up, reach up. When our eyes lift up, it lifts our spirits as well. And then bring the hands together and exhale the hands in front of the heart. Now bring your hands on your lap. Sit back in your chair so you're nice and comfortable. And hands on your lap, spine is tall, leaning back into the chair so you're in alignment. Close your eyes. And let's just make sure the jaw is soft so you're unhinging at the jaw, the tongue is relaxed, corners of your mouth feel soft and easy. Your forehead is broad and open. Even your eyebrows feel relaxed and especially the place between your eyebrows. See if you can soften and expand there. Let your scalp relax. We even hold tension in our scalp. And then the entire face softens. You let the cheeks drop. Front of the throat softens and moves back towards the back of the neck. 
and then release each shoulder. The right shoulder is heavy, then the left shoulder is heavy. And then again, feel the spine lifting up so the chest can expand and the shoulders can let down. With the eyes closed, just witness an inhale, the lift and expansion of your inhale. And then the emptying on the exhale, the out breath, letting everything release, letting the body feel a little heavier and relaxing. Inhaling, expanding and lifting. Exhaling, relaxing, releasing, letting go. And introducing a sense of calm, stability, spaciousness inside of you. And then bring your hands in front of your heart, lowering your chin for a moment. Maybe feel your heart beating. Feel the lift and lowering of your chest as you breathe. Your heart is beating. You are breathing. You are alive. Life is precious. So we honor this life. We honor our bodies. We honor the company we keep by coming to class together. And may the fruits of our endeavor doing yoga, benefit all of those around us. The light within me sees an honest delight within each of you. Namaste. Namaste.